This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to be taking a quick look at our EPUB. If you'd like to find it, it's in the sample files. And if you go into your 1700 EPUB folder, it's named 1706 the finished ebook.epub and just double click and it should open in digital editions. If it opens in this view, go to your list view to show the navigation panel. And you can see there's actually a way to navigate around your book. You can click on any one of these and it will go right to that section. Well, there's our cover. Looks really good. If Yours doesn't look quite like this. If it looks more like this, let me just drag this over. You can see there's a section divider here. If you're not seeing the whole cover, go to the side of that left section, right between the two sections, and just drag inward to resize the document. Now, you can actually just click on the arrows to navigate through your document. And you can see there's our title page and its order was determined by the Articles panel. So everything is now in the right order. Let's go to the first page of the first chapter about our author. And you can see that the images are centered exactly where they were anchored within our text. And it is using a larger headline style in the EPUB for the chapter heads, and then a slightly smaller headline style for the subsections, and then here's our body text style that we selected. And I'm going to go forward, and you can see each chapter is actually starting at the top of a page because that's where we told the EPUB to split our document. Let me click the forward arrow again. There's the beginning of the next chapter with our subheads for each one of the tips, and you can see. There's an emphasis style, which is italic. And let me move forward. There's our table of contents, which the first couple of listings will be interactive. And there's our chapter number one, with everything anchored exactly where it's supposed to be, according to where we dragged the anchored object into the text. So you can see creating an EPUB is actually pretty easy. if you know the various features involved. In the next video, we're going to conclude our training.